we always say like Bianca Belair, like as a person, and, like what we see, obviously, we're not like hanging out with her on weekends. <laughs> I wish. Yeah. She, I know she, I wish. She, yeah. She just seems like such a cool person and like someone. Yeah. She just seems like the sweetest human being on earth. Like you just want to like yes. protect her and be like, no, no. <laughs> like if something ever totally. came, came out where she like, I don't know, punched someone, I'd be like, what did they do to her? Right. Exactly. What did they do to provoke it? Because yeah, she, yeah, she, she an has angel. like, yeah, she has like Tom Hanks status. <laughs> yes, like, absolutely. Like, like this precious little cinnamon roll. Mm-hmm. Like, yes. Oh, just yeah. a sweetie. No, she seems awesome. And she seems like she'd be like really easy to talk to. And I know that, that sounds like, again, crazy. Cause like, I'm not hanging out with her either, but like <laughs> something about her, like, just seems like she's very like, like you, she speaks to you and makes you feel like you are the most important person in the room. And she's yeah. like asking you how you are. And she like wants to hear the answer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I also I really love I always love as well that her and Montez seem like they have such a healthy, yes. loving and respectful yes. relationship. Yes. Um, which is just wonderful to see. Um, and it's not even playing out on our on our TV screens necessarily. It's like in interviews that they do and stuff like that. And right. I love that she makes his gear as well as um his tag team partner sometimes yeah. like mm-hmm. so that they have it's uh, they're just such a beautiful couple. They're gold. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. And it's that's cool to see too in wrestling because that's something yeah. you don't always see is like people in relationships where they're like genuinely happy. And you could tell it's not just like an Instagram happy. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, like we actually love each other, but we're also like very attracted to each other. Like yeah. we like we 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 love each other on every level we can. That's really cool to see. Yeah, because for so long we saw like really negative relationships both portrayed on screen and then like yeah. what was going on behind the screen. Um, yes, abusive, Very... toxic. Like, oh my god, yeah, problematic, Ugh. just awful. Yeah, it seems like that's changing a lot. Like not even just those two, but like Seth and Becky, and like yes, Adam yes, Cole yes. and Britt Baker. Yeah, Sammy yeah, and Ty. Like there's just a lot of good healthy positive relationships for people to see now yeah 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 that's amazing yeah because it was it, it was it was like scary for a little bit just like the stuff that was coming out and then like you hear like about the old days and like what they did to women and like what mm-hmm. was going on it's awful so like yeah to hear and see that now it is it's cool I think it's like it's kind of what's happening uh, in like a larger way on social media and just in life that like it's cool to be in a happy relationship Mm -hmm. like it's cool to be happy and like like your partner and like want to just like be with them yeah I think wrestling is often like a reflection of what's happening in society Mm -hmm. so um like the attitude era was awful and guess what it was really awful (laughs) to be a woman like in general yes like maybe, maybe your boss wasn't like making you crawl around and bark in like public, like it mm. happened to Trish, but like you were probably being sexually harassed and no one was taking it seriously. Um, yeah. Hey, sweetie, yeah. Like being pat on the ass. And like, that Ugh. was accepted. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, and I think I hate what I, I, I mean, obviously I hate that, but also I think I hate the normalization around it. Like the way that like maybe people who that was done to Mm -hmm. if if that like like like, let's say we were all working together and like we worked with people who that was done to and then it was done to us the way that the people would then say like oh that's nothing compared to what used to happen to me like you're so lucky that's all that happened to you and it's like no 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 we should all be upset like none of it's cool so Mm -hmm. I think that that's going away too because it's not normal anymore it's like oh this is wrong Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's like um, a big change that's happened in the locker rooms, both the men's and the women's locker room. But um, like if you talk to older, like and not like old, but like women who are in their 40s, 50s and whatnot, um, who are in the wrestling business compared to women who are in their 30s and 20s now, like they even have different takes on um, it, what the locker rooms were like. They right they were so cutthroat back then now like these women are performing um like long-lasting friendships and um like really have each other's backs and supportive as hell yeah 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 no I was actually just I just watched it the other night I watched the Bella's A&E um was it is it Legends is that what it's called 
Oh, oh yeah. 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 Yes. And it was a story all about the Bellas. And they talked about how their first night, it was like their first time they were going to be on TV. Whoever was, I don't know who the leader of the, of the women's locker room was at the time, but whoever that was and the rest of the women band together and they would not allow them to get dressed in the locker room. Like they mm-hmm. had to go to like the, like one of the bathrooms and get in their gear and something happened where they stole their gear or like something where like they, they couldn't even use the gear that they had. So they had to like wear like the yoga pants that they worked out in. And then like, I don't know if it was Sandra or whoever one of the seamstresses was at the time, mm-hmm. like made them gear out of like, just like bikini tops and like what they had on them. And like, they were talking about how like, okay, this is the game. Okay. Then we'll play it. Like we'll do it. We just want to be here. We don't care about it. And that was horrifying to hear that. And it like broke my heart because I was like, I can't imagine being like 20. Oh my God. How old were they? Like 23 Three, years yeah, old, maybe <laughs> babies, 23 years old. And like terrified you're going on TV you can't even get ready around anybody else. And it just feels like no one wants you there. That is disgusting to me. Like that makes, that actually makes my stomach turn to think about it. And like, it's grown women. It's not like it's teenagers. Right. Yeah. So hearing that and then seeing, you know, the way it is now, I mean, I, it's like, it's two different worlds. It's mm-hmm. crazy. Yeah. Um, I, I know the exact incident you're talking about. And it was that they were wearing the colors of somebody else. Like, <laughs> okay. They were like, red is my color. You can't wear okay. that. Um, great. Yeah. Meanwhile, like yeah. Not enough of anything yeah. to like stake your claim. Yeah. And meanwhile, then when Bailey talks about when, um, and I think Charlotte, no, I think it was Charlotte said when she came up, um, the Bellas actually protected her from like the other like some of the older, like we're still kind of evil. Yeah. These like really bad ideas. And like, we're like, yeah, this, this shit stops now because they had enough of a voice at that point. And it was That's either awesome. Charlotte or Bailey who talked about that. I can't remember who I I'm assuming Charlotte, cause she came up first, but yeah. that might not be. Yeah. The case. Um, but yeah, yeah. Bailey was, That's amazing. So. Yeah. It, odds are it would have been either Charlotte, Sasha or Becky. Cause they yeah. were up for a while. Right. Right. Bailey right. Right. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just talking about how um like some of the, the women like the Bellas had to protect the newbies coming up so they didn't go through that right. same ridiculous hazing. Um yeah, just like it, I don't and it's not and I guess like it was it was a different time too because like you were fighting everyone was fighting for the one 90 second spot mm-hmm. on TV, like every woman in the company. So you had to just try to protect yourself, I guess, in that way but like it, it's just to i i love that the bellas kind of they they mark i always would say like they kind of mark like the old guard and the new guard like when they were still there because mm-hmm. they were marking the end of that they still had that old school like like sense about them where like you know you 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 got to work really hard like nobody was like coming from instagram with 20,000 followers and like getting a a, a spot like it was kind of like you still had to like work to to, to like do what you needed to do but also like they weren't going to subscribe to a lot of that like bullshit can i curse yeah oh yeah. okay they were gonna say, <laughs> we were just talking about this last week about how um <laughs> i say fuck a lot <laughs> right. i don't even know i do it sometimes but they weren't gonna subscribe to the bullshit that they had been put through and like that's that's what's that's what makes them like there's so many reasons why like i love them and why i think like they're like they they really changed women's wrestling in a way um but one of them is the way that they would protect the new girls that were coming up in a way that they weren't yeah 